To maintain a good workplace safety, every safety professional need to put some tools to achieve the objective of higher safety performance. There are many tools available for the improvement of the workplace safety, one of them is risk assessment. Risk assessment is formal process whereby hazards are identified in the workplace, followed by the risk evaluation and lastly implementation of controls to mitigate the risks to lowest acceptable level. Relation between hazard and risk Hazards are produced by the four elements. People, equipment, material, or substances, environment or locations. Six types of hazards produced by these sources physical hazards, chemical hazards, mechanical hazards, biological hazards, organizational hazards, environmental hazards. Once a hazard is present in the work area, it has potential to trigger an incident. The incident can only be triggered if hazard will meet to certain circumstances. The circumstance is called a chance or likelihood of triggering the accident. Every triggered incident will have consequence with degree of severity. If the incident involves the workers or personnel they get injury, if it involves any property it will be damaged. Why we need to do the risk assessment Risk assessment is mandatory requirement for the Health and Safety Management System ISO 45001. Risk assessment is legal requirement in some countries. Risk assessment is part of safe system of work. Benefits of risk assessment Risk assessment is proactive and formal process to focus the hazards therefore to control them in peacetime. Risk assessment is effective to reduce the accidents, thus reducing the losses. Risk assessment is useful in improving the safety behavior of the workers. In case of an accident it is a proof that you have reviewed the working conditions. the area or location and see what job is going to be done. At each stage and task of the job we are focusing on the hazards, likelihood or chance of happening the accident and give a grade to likelihood from 1 to 5 from low to high chance of occurring of incident. At the same time, we are thinking the severity of outcome of incident and we grade the severity from 1 to 5 as minor to major injury or fatality. Then we evaluate the level of risk by multiplying the grade of likelihood with grade of severity. If risk falls in the range of level from 6 to 25 we need to take various actions to implement controls to reduce the risk level as low as reasonably practical. To achieve the safe and acceptable level of risk we are selecting several controls available to reduce the risk.
selecting the controls, we must select the controls from the best and robust to the least effective. Process of selection of control this way is called the hierarchy of control. The order of control must be first, try to eliminate the hazard by avoiding or removing the hazard. Second, try to reduce the risk by different means such as replacement of high hazardous to low hazardous. Third, prevent contact of person to hazard by engineering means or isolation. Fourth, apply safe working methods and procedures to reduce the risks. And fifth, provide PPE for the workers. All the all findings with risk ratings and controls, monitor the job and, it is necessary to review and change the risk assessment if anything change such as location of work, materials used by the workers, equipment used, workers, environment and if any accident or near miss occurs.